So let's start by uh, by loading up the uh, the game here. So you know we have to uh, give you guys the disclaimer that every game company ever has done. That is that this is pre pre alpha material. It's very early still. Um, so if you see bugs and stuff like that, don't worry. We're looking into them. Uh, so this is a this is an early look uh, at the game that we're uh, we're going to show you guys here. It feels like a lifetime since our last deployment. And uh, let us know if there is something that is uh, that needs to be tweaked, such so like the volume of the stream, if we're speaking too loud and the game is too low volume, or if Becky is too loud or we're too silent. And you know, just let us know if there's anything uh, that we can do to make it a more comfortable experience for the guys. But uh, for now, I'm just going to turn up the volume a bit and then uh, show you guys uh, not the very beginning of the game, but because there will be other stuff before this, but we'll show you guys uh, the White House level. So this is in the start of the game, and uh, yeah, let's just dive into it. So yeah, this is uh, this is bombshell, and uh, just for the sake of not embarrassing myself, uh, I'm just gonna put on some cheat codes. Everyone needs cheat codes in order to make a good little demo. Uh, we also yeah, we plan on keeping the cheat codes too, and uh, you know mods and stuff, just to kind of give that old school feel. <laughs> Definitely. Um, there is actually a, a, a very um, kind of good question here. Yeah, because. Um, the shower model. Yeah, the shower model. Was actually, wasn't it in, kind of invented by Apogee in the second time? Yeah, so the uh, the shower model was actually invented by Scott Miller uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s. And it was basically the precursor to demos. So basically what Scott Miller did, what was kind of genius, he made uh, small little games and then he put them out on the BBS, which was a, uh, a pre-internet service uh, where he would give away the first part of the game for free and then afterwards uh, if people liked the game they could mail him a check uh, like to his private mailbox and then he would mail back episode two and three and four and so on of the game so within weeks he got hundreds of checks in his mailbox from random people all around the world who wanted to play further episodes of the game so the shower model was something they they stuck onto like Throughout the existence of, of the modern or the, uh, the the legacy three runs games, all of t like Shadow Warrior was also shareware. I think the first non shareware game they released was uh, was Max Payne actually, um, and then of course Duke Forever later and and then Prey. But shareware actually had a long run and it turned into demos. Everyone started to do demos, which is kind of like shareware, uh, except you didn't have an ordering order now button in there. But it's something that's that's really cool. Something we'd love to to bring back. Okay guys, I'm just going to play a bit of Bombshell here and uh, show you some really, really cool stuff. Uh, let's start by this. To answer uh, some questions real quick that are going in chat is like, for example, what engine are we using? We're currently using UE3. Um, and then another question uh, that you can kind of answer, Fred, while you're off killing stuff is, uh, do we think that we'll have humor in the game? You know. 3D Realms is known for having cultural references and humor in their games. Definitely. So the game is, is full of classic one-liners and humor. Bombshell is, though, a slightly more serious game than, uh, than most others. Um, it's more in the line of the humor you would expect in a movie like Star Wars or Guardians of the Galaxy. The, the movie is... The subject is still relatively serious, but the, the characters have a lot of character and they have a lot of humor as well. So. I think that's maybe the closest you'll get to what uh, what Bombshell feels like to play. Mm 
So what I'm using here is something called the Mighty Punch. It's basically a super powerful punch that Bombshell can do to go through enemies. And uh, in Bombshell you have a, f a few different uh, currencies, you can call that. You have your, your energy, which is powering your robotic arm. And you can use this energy to do a range of different attacks. You can like slide around to avoid enemy fire, for instance, like this. You can also do the Mighty Punch. We have something called the Bubble Shield. We have something called Ghost Shell that will show off uh, at a later point as well. There is actually a question here. Um, how long has uh, Bombshell actually been under development? So Bombshell is uh, just above one and a half year now in development. And um, and that's that's actually quite a bit longer than, uh, than Rise of the Triad. Um, Looks like Lady Luck is on our side today. This is a little cool section that uh, we don't want to show too much of yet. <laughs> Good to see you, Shepard. I've been tracking your progress. It looks like you've come a long way since Washington. And I have the feeling I've still got a long way to go. What's the situation, General? About an hour ago, an unidentified alien force attacked the White House using some kind of warhole technology. We'll just skip through this conversation here a bit. Something that's uh, that's really cool in uh, in Bombshell is that um, let's just switch over to uh, let's just switch over to another weapon here. So something that that we're kind of proud of is that when we developed Bombshell, we um, we focused primarily on next-gen platforms. This We started before the next-gen consoles were out, so con current-gen consoles today, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. And it allowed us to create uh, really, really high-quality assets in the game in order to, to make it look absolutely stunning uh, with what we had to do with. And we basically created all the assets with a first-person shooter in mind to, in terms of quality. So we could do really cool in-game cutscenes where the camera basically flies in and shows the characters when they talk together and so on, and then flies out without us having to rely on um, on uh, pre-animated CG cutscenes and so on. Um, so it's also asked... Uh, in here, will there be a multiplayer part? That's still something we're waiting a bit with, uh, with, with talking too much about. But, uh, but yeah, this is, this is a good example of the, the detail we have in the game. Even though it's a top-down game, we, we put in a ton of detail uh, in order to, to be able to make these amazing cutscenes. We'll show you a little cutscene later on in the game uh, where you can see how, how we utilize the, uh, the different assets in, uh, in Bombshell to create some, some really, really cool stuff. Uh, this is a uh, this is our screenshot mode that we uh, we're enabling for uh, for the players as well, where they can go around and take some cool screenshots. This uh, little UI on her arm uh, that's actually the upgrade menu you have in game. So when you activate the upgrade menu, the camera simply just zooms into the arm, and the UI you see here is actually real time. It's really really cool that that we can put all this fidelity into these games now when we're working with with the uh, with the new platforms. It gives us crazy much power compared to the Xbox 360 yeah, and, and the... Of course, uh, is not real time at the moment of the game. Like. Yeah, at the moment right now it's not, but once you activate it, it will, uh, it will activate and then you, can, uh, then you can check out all the cool stuff in there. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go back here into the game and, uh, and jump into the White House. So I'm going to use something I'll call the Bowling Bombs. That's one of uh, Bombshell's trusty weapons. It's basically the bombs you saw on her back that she can throw around. And the bobs are basically seeking after enemies. And then you can activate them at your own pace. If a bowling bomb can't find an enemy like this one, then it will uh, turn blue and uh, jump back on bombshell. And uh, it's basically like small little kids she throws out, and then if they can't find enemies, they'll go back and jump back on the, on her back. So let's go inside the White House here and see what's up.
We also have full real-time destructibles in the world. Uh, it creates super, super cool scenes where everything just blows up. And, you know, we love to blow up stuff. It's always fun. So um, that was uh, that was like a little sneak peek of uh, of uh, one of the first levels of uh, bomb 